what's up everybody true boxing here thank you for coming back to get hit with the truth so today we're doing uh my 2022 year-end top tens continue as we look at my number six super featherweight in the world right now at 130 pounds and that is uh former world title challenger lamont roach jr uh lamont roach entered the year uh highly regarded he entered the year number nine he actually moves up three spots to number six and he's still only 27. So it shows you how young um, Lamont Roach was when he got his first shot when he lost to Jamel Harry. Still the only loss of his career. He's 26 and one overall. Um, I know he's 23, one and one, I'm sorry, with nine knockouts. But he is a WBA's number one contender. That sparked from a dominant performance over former champ Renee Alvarado to close out 2021. But in 2022, he only fought one time because he was waiting around to see if he was gonna get a crack at the title and wanted to get into uh, you know, a bigger fight, but Golden Boy couldn't really get him one. So um, he in July, he took on some guy named Angel Rodriguez, got a 12-round unanimous decision there to stay busy. And now um, you know he's heading into 2023, and I think there's a good chance he's gonna get a shot at the title um, at some point. Hector Luis Garcia is the champion. And at some point, he's probably going to have to make a mandatory defense. Now, he's moving up to 135, actually, this weekend coming up uh, to, to challenge Gervonta Davis for his secondary world title. But I don't think he's going to uh, – I don't think he wins that fight, uh, uh, Garcia. So I think in the second half of the year, he's going to have to come back, and he's probably going to have to fight, uh, make his mandatory. And Lamont Roach Jr. is the mandatory. So – or would be the mandatory. So – it's either that or I think the WBA will order um, him to fight somebody else to secure the mandatory position, but he shouldn't have to after his win over Alvarado and stuff. So we'll see what happens, but I definitely can see Lamont Roach Jr. getting a title shot or at the very least an eliminator. Um, he's with Golden Boy, so maybe Golden Boy sets up Lamont Roach against um, Roger Gutierrez. You know, maybe they could set that fight up. Uh, or, or some kind of deal like that. So we just gotta wait and see what happens. Um, but yeah, I wouldn't be surprised to see Lamont Roach get uh, a title shot in 2023. And with his style, he's definitely good enough to become a world champion. So we'll see what happens. But uh, that's it. That's pretty much what I got on my number six super featherweight in the world right now at 130 pounds, former world title challenger, Lamont Roach Jr as my 2022 year-end top tens continue. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, smash the like button, leave a comment, subscribe to the channel. I appreciate any and all support. This is True Boxing. You've been here with the truth.